Hello friends. Today um, is the start, actually, is the start of what I'm going to think of as Nadia week. <laughs> so Nadia took me, uh, took me up on the mundane like me uh, reading request offer. Uh, she wants me to use several decks, which I have out here, and um, she suggested some reading. So she only suggested kind of what I could tease out to be about four different readings, and so there will be some repeats during the course of this week, but always with a different deck. Um, so I'm starting with the Dark Fairy Tale Tarot, and I did a mind-body mood, because the Dark Fairy Tale Tarot strikes me as a pretty moody deck, and so it struck me as an interesting deck to use for that. But as I was just starting, just starting to shuffle this deck, these three cards popped out. I'm not taking them as mind, body, mood. I'm taking them as a message for <laughs> Nadia. So Nadia. So they popped out like this. Lovers on top. Eight of pentacles and the devil. And I'm not going to interpret this. I'm just I'm just sharing this with Nadia so she can do whatever she wants with it. Lovers, when it flipped over, this is what it was. Lovers, I didn't even know I had three cards at first. So lovers, eight of pentacles, and the devil. So you could read it like that in that order, or you could read it because if it Normally, if you were pulling from the top of a deck, it would be Devil, Eight of Pentacles, Lovers. So, there you go. Special message for Nadia from my uh, fairy tale tarot. Maybe my fairy tale tarot and her dark fairy tale tarot are talking to each other. I don't know, but that's the way I took those. So now we're going to do, for me, let me get my mouse out of the way here. So, mind, body, mood. Mind. There we go. The Hermit. As chance would have it, for those of us who believe in chance, and I do, to some extent, I do believe there are random events. Um, I don't know that this is one, but there are such things. The last couple of days, I have been, um, well, kind of for the last week I've been doing this, I've been just going back over my old um, deck reviews and explorations from um, my Alta Vista channel from years gone by, just kind of running through them. In the last couple of days, I have not been well, for one thing, and I... And so I kind of ended up stalled here on the Dark Fairy Tale Tarot. And so I, I listened to it fully and attentively once, <laughs> even though I probably ran through it about three times. Um, and this card, I think, came up as the... I think it was how the deck characterized itself, something like that. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. So now it's coming up for mind. I don't really get isolation. I get more exploration and a willingness to go into the unknown. A willingness to go into the unknown to face a new kind of effort one step at a time, but probably over some, some rough or unfamiliar terrain. But knowing from the outset, it's going to be a slog. So this is kind of turning my mind in that direction, kind of away from what would be more comfortable or what I wish were more comfortable but, but isn't. <laughs> and body. Oh, the Four of Swords. I just keep getting this no matter what, pretty much. Four of Swords, Four of Swords has been... 
it's been shaking a finger at me in my own readings. When I watch various readings on um, YouTube, it's still been shaking a finger at me. And that essentially, this Four of Swords, is in a way what is prompting the Hermit. It's just taken a really long mind, a really long time to bring my mind around to fully accepting this. A really, really long time. So, mood. Here we have the Six of Cups. And in the Six of Cups, we have this uh, lady down here. She's reaching up to some cups, and there are cups of angels here. Angels like statue angels. And they've got two cups, and she's got four cups down here. And she's reaching up toward the two cups. But she's chained, so her chains prevent her from reaching these two cups. Now we could invent what these two, I mean, what this means. You know, you could kind of take it as a reverse four of cups where, you know, if you've got four cups, okay, in the four of cups you've got three cups that you, you haven't been satisfied with and so you're no longer willing to accept another one. Or you're so obsessed with the things that are, that haven't worked, that you can't see that there's another thing coming in that might work. Here it's like she's got four good cups that she may have used. Maybe she has drank, she has drank everything out of them, drunken everything out of them. I'm not sure. And she actually wants more. That could be it. Um, but I just get the feeling, because these are angels, that she's wanting to get to those cups. Because if she touches or drink, drinks from them, she will either become an angel or, or in some measure be transformed. So I don't, I don't think it's a completely senseless yearning. I don't think it's like wanting more of something just for the sake of it. I think it's, I think there's more to it than that. Now, what's kind of difficult to see on this particular image is that you've got little creepy hands down here. So it's, so there's um, something of a sense of urgency. that's what I'm taking those things to be. I don't really know what they are. <laughs> There's some creepiness down there. Um, and I spend more time describing this card because this was kind of the least traditional of these. These two are pretty traditional as far as I can see on first looking at it. I don't think she's... No, she just looks like she's resting there. And there's an angel statue in the back. Um... So I can see this, the mood being that, you know, I'm reaching toward something but feeling restrained. You know, I'm partway there. She kind of has her, her hand set on something dark right here, trying to reach up. So kind of in a, in a mood, and she looks fairly hope, hopeful that she's going to be able to reach them here eventually or figure out a way. Um, yeah, so as a mood card, I would say a hopeful of restoring some, since it's the six of, six of Cups, I'll say some traditional emotional nourishment. As opposed, I don't, because it's a Six of Cups, Six of Cups, I don't think of it in terms of anything new. I think more in terms of restoring 
something that has been emotionally nourishing. So that's it, Dark Fairy Tale Tarot um, with the Mind Body Mood reading. Again, there's more about this. I guess I haven't said it in this particular video. If you go down to your uh, to the description box, there's a list of all my decks and um, the the potential questions. I haven't added the ones that um, Nadia has shared with me yet, um, but I'll get them in there eventually. And this one, Mind, Body, Mood, is one that's already down there. So, you have the option to request that I demonstrate a reading with a deck for me, or one of those readings uh, with whatever deck you choose for you. Alrighty, that's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.